good evening i was really enjoying that music a little too much um welcome it's me i'm not in the kitchen i lost my hat um i'm here we're here chillaxing i just want to tell john here um if she was very very serious about swimming she would have joined the coast guard and not the police service so she would have been training all now john here you are welcome so you got that tip free of charge it's not too late just switch over you know hi everybody and welcome to chillaxing and that's exactly what we'll be doing here tonight so you know grab a cup of coffee your tea your coconut water you know tonight i'm so i'm i'm really excited to have this guest with me um i've known him since i think he was in since he was a baby you know we kind of went to the same um he was in elementary i would have been in primary but very similar he's here without even what he's here you know what i mean what can i say the ex-swimmer um soccer player for he started with the saint anne's rangers played with uh charleston college college of charleston awarded rookie of the year right Last year, I mean, he was awarded Defender of the Year. You've made 2018, 2019, 2020. Join me in welcoming Leland Archer. Welcome, Leland. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're good? So far, can't complain. It's so good to see you. Um, Leland, you started swimming around age of six seven and then you stopped around 11 12 because you fell in love with soccer is that is that what happened i was swimming swimming a long long time ago probably age of seven back in the day flying fish and marlins for a little bit and then football can i just take over from from that point after that so from flying fish you went to play with st anne's rangers but you were also on fatima's um football team as well you helped them win the the north zone finals or something at some right. point right yeah fatima boys will always be good boys fatima boys are good boys always good boys so you went and played for the saint anne's rangers i don't know if you're familiar with you know the mental hospital in trinidad is called the saint anne's so is it weighing heavily on saint anne's or on the rangers part of it no definitely more on the rangers part of it <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple sure? of them might be a little escapees, but nothing too big. Nothing too big. Nothing no. too big. Leland, we can't we can't start this conversation without talking about January thirty first. <laughs> I know, right? Seven nil. Let me let me be the first to say because I know as an as an athlete, it can't be easy. Nobody trains to lose, but it happened, right? Happened and to people, yeah people usually what happens is that the the booze always tend to be so much louder than the chairs how tell me in one word or in one sentence co the, the collective atmosphere of the team after that that game well obviously you know nobody's prepared to lose but i think the the team at the time kind of wanted more for ourselves in the sense that where Trinidad football is right now, not the greatest. So I think it was kind of a more of a letdown for, for the team and not they're not doing well in that game. Although it was a, a game that, you know, most of the guys were not in season at the time, but they still wanted that good performance to kind of show the public, you know? Right. So how do you look how do you like Block all the noise from all that booing and, and then the, the, the memes and the personal attacks because it comes. What, yeah. what, what does Leland do? Well, you just had to kind of block out certain opinions. Everybody entitled to their own, op own opinion. So for me personally, after games, kind of just stay away from social media for a little bit, though, you know, though kind of log in too much on what people say and kind of you know, talk to the people that are giving you the good criticism that you actually need and not because if you try to look at things on social media, it will kind of just swallow you in a sense. Yeah, you have to just, 
You see, now if you were swimming, you could have just gone under the water and do your thing. Nobody had to see you. But who chose soccer? Is it soccer? Is it football? Is it small goal post? What what, what is it? It depends where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I can no, make any of the small. three. Yeah, any of the three. Not really the small goal, but any of the two. Any any of the two. Yeah. So now you play defender. What what is that? What does defender mean? Tell me about that. Is it that you're defending yourself <laughs> from everything? Is that why you could attack and, and defend when they're attacking on social media? You know exactly what to do? <laughs> what does the position defender mean? And is it Charleston battery or Charleston <laughs> battery? Again, depend where is. You don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, as defender, what, what does that mean? Well, basically, you just try to stop the ball from going any goal, in a sense. You know, if you want the basic, basic definition of it, just try to stop attackers from scoring. So you are like the defender of the goalie then? You, you're basically, just... right okay. in front of the goalie. So you are like the assistant? Basically. So they just bark orders at me. And I just had to listen. They bark <laughs> orders? Like orders or orders? Leland, tell me, because you now are in, in South Carolina. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So the words are different. You know what I mean? People speak differently. Like, I mean, I do, um, I do comedy and I joke about it all the time. And I say, I'm here learning to speak English in a different language. Do you feel that way too? Yeah, definitely. Because at sometimes, you know, it, the accent kind of goes too fast for them, so you have to kind of slow down, kind of see with a little differently for them to understand. So it's not, you know, you, you get tired of repeating yourself after a while. So you just have to dilute your stuff. Sometimes, yeah. You know, somebody yeah. gave me, there was a, a an American girl who was playing for the Trinidad team years ago. And she was so confused because on the team, they kept saying on the field, Pashina, Pashina. <laughs> Pashina! And she was like, I have no idea who Pashina is. <laughs> like, I've never met this girl on the team, but everybody keeps saying Pashina, Pashina. And, and <laughs> all they were trying to tell her was Pashina, Pashina. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, English is a beautiful thing. Tell me, what have you taken from swimming to soccer that has helped you, you think, in terms of success? Hmm. Tough question. Um... I think personally, I think because swimming is such an individual sport, you kind of have to work on your craft, your your thing. So I kind of put that into, into soccer. Although it's a team sport, you still have to, you know, kind of work at what you do best to help the team. Okay. Okay. If that makes sense. It does. So you take some of your individualistic characteristics and, and you sort of bring that to a whole list, to, to the team. Exactly. Okay. Um, briefly tell me the difference between playing for a U.S. football team or soccer team and a Trinidadian team. What is the difference in the cohesiveness of the team? Is it different? Yeah. Well, I never played pro in Trinidad because straight out of college I played pro in America. But from my experience playing with Fatima, um, I would say a little different because in the sense that Fatima kind of, you know, you're playing three, four, five years with the same guys, you know, from since four months days, you're playing with these guys. So in the sense that pro, you kind of, you know, every year new guys come in, new guys kind of mesh with the team, different parts of the world. So it definitely, definitely have a different feel to it. But I won't say it's you know, any better or any less cohesive. Mm. So it doesn't feel a little disjointed or anything like that? It just it kind of blends in eventually? Not really. At times it could be because there's so many, I won't say egos, but different personalities as opposed to, you know, shared audience kind of, you know, shared audience, you know, you, you feel like you always could, could relate to them. Mm -hmm. What would you say to fans who who attack you don't deal well with with losses like people who think you know you're oh you're not you're like you don't want to win what do you say to people like that 
Um, there's not really much you could say to them because you have to tell them like, something. <laughs> Dig deep and tell them what you're feeling in your stomach. Like I said before, everybody entitled to their own opinion, but um, I mean, sometimes you know, people are human just like they are. So I feel like sometimes mm. you're not as good to get on them as much as you said. But I mean, that's the the it comes to the sport, I guess. Professional athletes, people are always gonna have your their own opinion about you, so kind of have to deal with it just like they're going to deal with us losing 7-0. <laughs> <laughs> 7-0. Um, I don't know, Jason has the clip ready. Jason, do you have the clip ready? I want to show you a clip. Oh, God. <laughs> tell me, what will you, what would you say to this person, Leland? Well, I don't even know. I'll probably tell him. Good job on the race, but <laughs> please on that podium. But you definitely, definitely have a long, long journey ahead of you in different sports in a different sport. That's what you'll tell him. Look at him. Look at him. What you would say to him? <laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking in this picture. Right there. Right what thinking. would you really say to him? You, you can tell him next time. Get your size in your tracks. So, <laughs> you know, next time you wouldn't say that. Nah, that that was it. That was if they look back then. Oh, look so you tell back. him? Would you tell him swim your own race? Would you tell him that? Which yeah, coach used to tell you that? Do you remember that? Keith. Keith, the great Keith. The great. Swim your own race, and I guess the same thing. Play your own game, right? Exactly. So tell me, part in words, what would you like? Tell people in Trinidad where they can support you, how they can support you, and um, you know what what you would like more of from from Trinidad and Tobago, um, and less of. I'm just kidding. Just more <laughs> of, and where they can where they can find you. Um, games are always showing on USL YouTube page live on weekends. One coming up on Friday, so you could always tune into that and Friday. Yeah, Friday night, seven o'clock. And kind of just what time? Because is it the same time? Yeah, the same time as Trinidad right now. Okay. And just kind of, you know, holy faith with Trinidad and Tobago national team. I think they'll definitely be where they need to be in, in the years coming. In due course. Yes. And what's your Facebook or Instagram? What where where can people find you? Facebook, Lila Archer, Instagram at Lila Archer. Simple and easy. And that's it. That's it. Just don't come and look for your way of living. I'm right. gonna tell you, you know what I mean? Just they could find it everywhere else except where you're living. Just don't be too harsh on the social media. That's it. All right. <laughs> Elon, I enjoyed chatting with you. I can't believe look at how we we same age now, life, eh? <laughs> this thing happened so quickly. It was lovely chilling with you. My first episode. So good to have you. Thank um, you for having me. Bye. Take care. Bye. Be good. Thank you.